we're doing retainer reviews today and young Steve uh, has shown up. Steve's done a great job with his retainer. Let me introduce you to Steve's retainer. It's a football, right? Yeah. Is that what okay. Um, so other than the football that he's chosen, can you see that hole? That hole is for the tongue. Uh, this is called a Marala style retainer. It's like a standard Hawley, but I put a hole in the spot and then we work with our oral myologist so that the tongue can go in the right position. Now that's important in Steve's case because when Steve started, he was extremely tongue-tied and no one had picked that up, even though he was like nine and a half. Um, so that's a worry, right? Because he was tongue-tied, of course, the tongue was sitting in the wrong position, causing this open bite and you can see the tongue thrust. And look how narrow the palate is, right? So what do we do for this young man? I widen the upper jaw to make room for the impacted teeth. And you can see um, uh, the nice arch form we've created. We also did a tongue release, and I'll show you now how easily he can lift his tongue up. And you can see good range of motion. Bite together, close together, and you can see open bites closed. Look at the room for the canines. Plenty of room here, plenty of room there. Now as a plan B, just put your chin up in there. I put a little wire behind the four upper incisor teeth, right? But look at that beautiful arch form. Of course his opening it. Of course his tongue's gonna be happier there. And his tongue has room as well as mobility bite together. So that maintains the stability of the case. So the point I'm making here is don't wait for children who have no room and are tongue tied and don't do anything. And then they end up um, having four teeth out um, they end up still being tongue-tied, which affects their oral hygiene, affects their speech, affects their swallowing, etc. That's where Steve started, right? No way those canines would have come down on their own. This is the mid-treatment x-ray after we had expanded and used 2 by 4 Look where it starts, look where it is, and uh, the baby canines have fallen out now, and those canines have dropped in beautifully. So from a dental point of view, we've avoided a lot of orthodontic work for him, but from a uh, growth and development point of view, from a speech point of view, swallowing, nasal breathing, all, all help. Because remember, the palate is the floor of the nose. So if you widen the palate early, you help the nasal breathing. So the tongue is the retainer. So if the tongue is tongue-tied, the stability of your expansion is not going to be good. So this is all the combination work we did, right? Okay, Steve, good man. You keep wearing your retainer, and we'll see you again in another six months, okay?